Silex was introduced in Metroid Prime Hunters, a DS game released in 2006. He is a bounty hunter who hates the Galactic Federation and uses stolen technology from them to complete his mission. Silex's signature weapon is his shock coil, which he uses to shoot electricity at his enemies. He also has his equivalent of Samus's morph fall box, but his are electrified. To keep drawing similarities to Samus, he also has a ship which uses his color scheme and is similar to Samus in terms of specs. Looking at the manual of Hunters, it reads, Silux is a resourceful tracker and a deadly sharpshooter who harbors an intense hatred for the Galactic Federation and for Samus Aran for assisting the Galactic Federation in the past. The story of Hunters takes place between Metroid Prime 1 and 2 and is fairly simple. Samus, Silux, and a handful of other bounty hunters receive a message that the ultimate power can be found in a place called the Olympic Cluster. They answer the message and all head over for their own various reasons. Samus fights the other bounty hunters throughout the game and reaches the final area first. Silux and the other hunters reach it as well and encounter the ultimate power and shoot at it, but it turns out to be an evil entity and they get absorbed by it instead. Samus does what she does best and takes it down, freeing the hunters. With the evil destroyed, the planet blows up, with Samus, Silux, and the other hunters making their escape. Hunter's main draw was actually its multiplayer mode. Samus, Silux, and the other hunters were all playable in this mode, and players were able to see what Silux was capable of firsthand. Silux's involvement was pretty strong out of the gate, being one of the few playable characters in a Metroid game, but Hunter's was the only major role he had appeared in. Metroid Prime producer Kensuke Tanabe wanted to do more with him and saw the potential he could have as an antagonist in the Metroid series. So about a year and a half later, this happened. In 2007's Metroid Prime 3 Corruption has a 100% completion ending cutscene that shows a ship following after Samus. This had long been speculated to be Silex's ship, though a different color, and it wasn't until almost 10 years later that it was confirmed by Tanabe that it was in fact Silex's ship. Silex's next appearance would come in the ill-timed Metroid Prime Federation Force, a co-op PvE first-person shooter on the 3DS in 2016. He appears again in an ending cutscene, but this time sneaking into the Federation HQ and hacking into an access terminal. Upon entering, he activates a device and hatches an egg, revealing to be a Metroid inside. The following year, in June 2017, we were graced with the announcement of Metroid Prime 4 and a promise of a continuation of the Prime series on the Nintendo Switch. The game would need to be scrapped after about two years of development, with an apology given in January 2019, where Retro Studios was asked to continue development the game. About five and a half years later, on June 18th, 2024, we were given this. Silux, leading the attack on the Galactic Federation Research Facility, is seen walking with space pirates and mock droids as he locks his gaze with Samus. Finally, after the buildup from Prime 3 and Federation Force along with Tanabe's desire to feature Silux in a more prominent role, the stage is set for Silux to finally confront Samus once again in Metroid Prime 4. Tanabe wants to have Silux still be a rival character towards Samus, but also the main threat Dark Samus was to the Prime Trilogy. Silux probably plans to use the Mocktroids and or Metroids to put an end to the Federation or even eventually, assuming the series gets a sequel, to create his own version of the Metroid Prime. Silex's origins and motives are basically non-existent, so anything is up for grabs when it comes to his origin story, lore, and motivations. Regardless, we'll see what happens in Metroid Prime 4 when it releases next year in 2025.